You wanna learn about some buildings? Okay, here we go. So humans have always been creative creatures. We love to build unique and beautiful things, an excellent example of which is architecture. There are amazing structures all over the world that stand as a testament to mankind's ingenuity and creativity. In fact, some of them look more like artwork than they do buildings, so much so that some don't even look real. So this week, I gathered the most intriguing examples of structures ever made by humans. So here they are, the 10 most amazing buildings in the world. Number one are cubic houses. Located in Rotterdam, Netherlands, these buildings are actually a set of homes designed in the shape of giant cubes. Designed in 1977, these homes are situated over hexagonal pylons, forming what the architect calls a forest of cubes, with the homes themselves representing abstract trees. The homes have three floors with a total apartment space of about 100 square meters, but unfortunately, around a quarter of the space is unusable because of the design. These homes are super cool, but living there is purely a novelty. I mean, not only is one fourth of the space unusable, but it's located directly above a subway station, so noise is always going to be an issue. But hey, who needs sleep when you live in a cube? Number two is the dancing house. Located in Prague, Czech Republic is a house designed to look like two people dancing. In fact, its former name was Fred and Ginger, named after Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. With just over 4,000 square meters of space, this house was designed in the deconstructivist style in 1992. It was extremely controversial at the time, as it obviously stands out a lot from the rest of the buildings in the area. Its two central bodies are supported by 99 concrete panels, each with a different shape and dimension. One of the coolest things about it is that at the top it has a large twisted structure of metal, nicknamed the Medusa. You know, for all the praise and awards that the architects got for this place, how awesome would it be if it was just something that they jokingly drew up one night while they were hammered? Hey look, I drew myself as a building. <laughs> we should... Totally make this. Number three is the Stone House. Located in the Fath Mountains in northern Portugal is a house that looks like it's straight out of the Flintstones. Built in 1974 between four boulders and linked with concrete mix, the home is rumored to be inspired by the original Flintstones cartoon. Just like ordinary homes, it has a front door, a roof, and windows. The house has no electricity, but it has a relatively comfortable interior with a fireplace and even a swimming pool cut out of one of the boulders. It's a big tourist attraction with thousands of people traveling to see it annually. Cool place, but it was clearly made for a hipster. I mean, no one else would ever choose to live there. <laughs> yes, well, I basically live in a boulder. I mean, there's no electricity, but traditional forms of energy are too mainstream anyways. <laughs> Number four is the Crooked Little House. Located in Sopot, Poland, is a house that looks like it's straight out of Alice in Wonderland. Built in 2004, this building is 4,000 square meters and has been called an architectural marvel. Its designers were inspired by the fairy tale illustrations from the books of their childhood. Interestingly, it's designed with the same architecture as the surrounding buildings, just with a warped look. Yet another popular tourist attraction, it's surrounded by restaurants, bars, and shops, and it's become the most photographed building in Poland. Something tells me these guys were a little too inspired by Alice in Wonderland, specifically the smoking and the mushrooms part. I mean, look at that place. They had to have been high to design that. Number five is Capital Gate. Located in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, this 53,100 square meter building was given the nickname of the Leaning Tower of Abu Dhabi and for good reason. Leaning at an incredible 18 degrees, this skyscraper was certified in 2010 by the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's furthest leaning man-made tower. To put that into perspective, the Leaning Tower of Pisa currently leans at just under 4 degrees, meaning that the Capitol Gate has a 4.5 times greater lean. Its design is what keeps it from toppling over. Not only is it heavily anchored to the ground, but it uses a technique called a pre-cambered core using an off-center core of concrete reinforced with steel. I'd love to visit this place, but the only problem is I'm afraid of heights, so I'd probably lose my mind if there was even the slightest gust of wind. Yeah, no thanks. Number six is the Piano House. Located in Huainan, China is a building shaped like a giant glittering grand piano and violin. Constructed in 2007, both the piano and the violin were built on a true 50 to 1 scale, likely making them the largest two scale instruments in the world. The entrance to the building is through the violin which has stairs and an elevator. Tourists frequent the area, especially at night, when fluorescent lighting outlines the entire building. Surprisingly, it isn't used for anything musical at all. In fact, is used as a showroom by city planners to show off their designs. Wow, what a waste! Why isn't this building being used as the National Musical Arts Center or something? Come on, China, some things are a given, a damn! Number seven is Antilla. Located in Mumbai, India is a house like no other. Let me repeat that. 
This massive structure is not a skyscraper, it's a house. The home belongs to the 19th richest man in the world, Indian businessman Makesh Ambani, whose net worth was estimated at 23.6 billion in 2014. Built in 2010, this 27 story building is the world's first billion dollar house with a total cost of just under two billion dollars. Every single floor has something different, everything from a ballroom to a gym and is completely decked out with the finest decorations like crystal chandeliers. But here's the kicker, Ambani and his family refuse to move into the building because they're afraid it'll bring them bad luck. I know, just take a moment to marinate on that. Wow, it takes some serious superstition to drop two billion dollars on a house only to then be like, eh, you know what? Mm. Number eight is the Sharp Center for Design. Located in Toronto, Canada is an incredible building that looks like a giant tabletop. The Sharp Center for Design is an expansion added to the Ontario College for Art and Design in 2004. It consists of a box four stories off the ground supported by multicolored pillars at different angles. As a building that sticks out from the rest in the area for obvious reasons, it's received multiple awards for its unique design. Again, another building that I just would not feel comfortable in despite the fact that I know it's safe. It just, it looks like it's being held up by Tinker Toy Sticks. If you don't know what that is, Google it. Number nine is the Kansas City Library. Located in Kansas City, United States is a building that's known as one of the most unique in the world. The exterior of the building features a community bookshelf designed to showcase the spines of 22 books as selected by the citizens of Kansas City. Each book spine is about eight meters by three meters. The bookshelf built in 2004 features the titles of real books, including Romeo and Juliet, Lord of the Rings, and To Kill a Mockingbird. This is a very cool building. I especially like the community participation part of the construction. If I were there, I would have suggested Say Cheese and Die or Monster Blood. The Goosebumps book series. Best books ever written. And number 10, The Crazy House. Located in Dalat, Vietnam is a building described by its designer as a fairy tale house. This expressionist building's overall design resembles a giant tree with other elements of nature such as animals, spider webs, caves, and mushrooms. Opened in 1990, this five story house was inspired by the natural environment around Dalat. It's just as amazing inside with handcrafted pieces of furniture in bizarre shapes. It's popular with tourists who can spend up to $63 a night to stay in the house. I'm down with all that, except the spiders. I cannot wake up to Charlotte's web staring back at me. That is a no-go. I don't like spiders. <laughs> and that's it guys. Of course there were multiple buildings that didn't quite make the list. One important honorable mention is the dynamic tower in the United Arab Emirates. It's still being constructed, but when it's done, it's going to be mind blowing. Google it, it's amazing. And before I let you go, I just wanted to let you all know that I have an Instagram account. Unlike a lot of people that only use it to post food pictures, I actually use it to post exclusive pictures that I don't post anywhere else. So if you guys wanna check that out, the link will be in the description. The username is Matthew Santoro, be sure to add me. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please share it on Facebook and Twitter and give that like button a click and I will see you all back here next Saturday with a brand new video baby have a great weekend peace Instagram selfie time it's beautiful time to pick a filter thanks for watching this video guys if you enjoyed it please remember to click that big red subscribe button to subscribe to my channel I release a new video every Saturday and don't forget to add me to Instagram because I've been using it all the time in fact that picture I just took is actually going on my Instagram it's quite lovely so go check it out have a great weekend and I will see you next week bye